Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll discuss what are known as divisibility, divisibility rules. Rules of divisibility. How do we know? How do we know if a given number is evenly divisible by the number that we're trying to divide it by? For example, for example, a number, a number is divisible. A number is divisible. by 2 if how do we know if a given number is divisible by 2 well don't just tell me if don't just tell me if it's even well how do you know if a number is even if a number is even a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit if its last digit is even if its last digit is even for example for example, 200, 246 ends in a 6, and because it ends in a 6, which is an even number, this number is divisible by 2. If we were to divide by 2, 2 has 1 2, 4 has 2 2s, and 6 has 3 2s. In other words, 246 divided by 2 is 123. But all the digits do not need to be even. Here it was 2, 4, and 6. They do not need to be all even, just the last digit. For example, for example 236 is still divisible by 2. Why is it why is it that we only look at the last digit? Why is it that only the last digit matters? Because 3 here, this this number that we see here, 236, 236 is so called because it is, believe it or not, 200 plus 30 plus 6. So it's only the last digit that matters. As long as the last digit is divisible by 2, the rest is going to be divisible by 2 because this is the multiple of 10. This digit here is a 10 digit, it's a multiple of 10. Since 10 is divisible by 2, so is going to be any other multiple of 10, whether it's 20 or 30 or 70 or 90, doesn't matter. Same thing here. This digit is a 100 digit. And since 100 is divisible by 2, then therefore 200 is divisible by 2, and so is 300, and so is 400, and so is any multiple of 100. The only thing that plays role is the last digit, the unit digit. Let's divide. Let's divide 236 by 2. How do we divide 236 by 2? Well, there we go. How many 2's in a 2? 2 has 1 2's. How many 3's in a 2? Oh, sorry. How many 2's? How many 2's in a 3? Three? 3 has 1 2. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 6 and becomes 16. How many 2's in a 16? 16 has 8 2. The answer is 118. 236 divided by 2 is 118. Let's do one more. Even if you have a very long number, and if it turns out that every single digit in the number is an odd digit, odd, no, odd, odd, odd as long as the very last one, for example, 97,538, the only thing that matters here, as we said before, the only thing that matters is the very last digit. As long as it ends in an even digit, if its last digit is even, the number is divisible by 2. Let's divide this number by 2, shall we? 97,538 divided by 2. How many 2's in a 9? 9 has 4 2's. The remaining one goes, the choice is 7 and becomes 17. 17, how many 2's in a 17? 17 has 8 2's. 8 2's are 16. 8 2's are 16. The remaining one goes, the choice is 5 and becomes 15. How many 2's in a 15? 15 has 7 2's. 7 2's are 14. The remaining one goes and joins the 3 and becomes 13. How many 2's in a 13? 13 has 6 2's. 6 2's are 12. And finally, the remaining one goes and joins the 8 and becomes 18. How many 2's in a 18? 18 has 9 2's. And there is your answer. The answer is 48,769. So that's how we tell if a number is divisible by 2. Let's move on to 3. A number is divisible by 3. And here's the rule, if, if the sum of his digits, if the sum of his digits is divisible by 3. So here we add up the digits and as long as the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, 
the number itself is divisible by 3. For example, for example, 369, is it divisible by 3? Is it divisible by 3? Well, let's find out, shall we? 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, and since 18, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 9 plus 9 is 18, since 18 is divisible by 3, therefore this number is going to be divisible by 3, which of course it is, because it's very easy to see it's divisible by 3. So when it is something simple like this, you can just look at the individual digits and you can tell. If you were to divide it by 3, of course it's going to be divisible by 3, because every single digit is divisible by 3. Every single digit is a multiple of 3, is what I meant. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9, three, nine divided by 3 is 3. 9 has 3, 3, 6 has 2, 3 is 3 has, so it's 123. 369 divided by 3 is just 123. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. How about, how about 346? 346. Again, one more time. The theory, the theory dictates that we take the sum. The theory dictates that, that we take the sum of all of its digits. In theory, we need to take the sum of all of its digits. But in practice, in practice, we can just take some shortcuts. For example, here, of course, we know that 3 is going to be divisible by 3. So that 3 actually plays no role. That 3 plays no role because we know 3 is going to be divisible by 3. All we look at, it, all we have to look at, is the sum of these two digits. Four plus two is six, and since six is divisible by three, therefore three hundred and forty-two is going to be divisible by three. Let's do it, shall we? Three hundred and forty-two is going to be divisible by three, and so is and so is six thousand three hundred and forty-two, and so is ninety-six thousand three hundred and forty-two. They are all divisible by three because these these digits, the nine and the six and the three, play no role because they are multiples of three. And 6 plus 2, now we have to simply have to look at the sum of these two digits, which is 6. Therefore, 96,342 is going to be divisible by 3. Let's find out. So, how many how many 3's in a 9? 9 has 3 3's. How many 3's in a 6? 6 has 2 3's. How many 3's in a 3? 3 has 1 3. How many 3's in a 4? 4 has 1 3. And the remaining one goes and joins 2 and becomes 12. And how many 3's does 12 have? 12 has 4 3's. So the answer is... 96,342 divided by 3 is 32,114. That's how we tell whether or not a number is divisible by 3. Do you understand? Okay, one more time, see? 9,612, even though, even though the theory dictates that we add up all the digits, in practice, we just have to look at 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, because these two digits, of course, are divisible by 3. That's all. So if you were to divide it by 3, how many 3's does 9 have? 9 has 3 3's. How many 3's does 6 have? 6 has 2 3's. How many 3's does 1 have? 1 has no 3's. I shouldn't have crossed it out. 1 has no 3's. 1 has. 1 has no 3's. That one goes and joins the 2 and becomes 12. And 12 has 4 3's. In other words, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Let's talk about 4. How do we know if a number is divisible by Four. A number is divisible by four if, if what's the rule? If its last two digits are divisible by four, only the last two digits play any role. Nothing else. For example, for example, one hundred, one thousand three hundred and forty-eight. Is 1348 divisible by 4? Well, we look at the last two digits. Last two digits are 48. And since 48 is divisible, not the sum of the digits, just the last of the digits. Since 48 is divisible by 4, so is 1348. Why? Because 1348 is so called, believe it or not, 1348 is so called because it is made up of 1348. We know 1000 is divisible by 4. And we know a hundred is divisible by four. If a hundred is divisible by four, then so is any multiple of one hundred. If one hundred is divisible by four, then so is two hundred, so is three hundred, so is seven hundred, so is nine hundred. Any multiple of one hundred is going to be divisible by four. So hundred digit plays no role. Same thing here. Since we know that one thousand is divisible by four, therefore any multiple of one thousand is also going to be divisible by four. Thousand digit plays no role. 
and not that there's a 10,000 digits or anything else. The only thing that matters, the only thing that plays part, the only thing that plays any role in determining whether or not a number is going to be evenly divisible by 4 are its last two digits. This number is divisible by 4. Let's divide by 4, shall we? Let's divide by 4, see what we can do. How many 4 does 1 have? 1 has no 4s. 1 has no 4s. That 1 goes and joins the 3 becomes 12. How many 4s four, how many does... Uh, that 1 goes and joins the 3 and becomes 13. How many 4 does 13 have? 13 has 3 4s. 3 4s are 12. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 4. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 4 and becomes 14. How many 4 does 14 have? 14 has 3 4s. The remaining 2, 3 4s are 12. The remaining 2 go and join the, the many, remaining 2 goes and joins the 8 and becomes 28. How many 4 4s four does 28 have? 28 has 7 4s. 7 4s are 28. The answer is 337. 1348 divided by 4 is 337. How do we know if a number is divisible by 5? Oh, that's very easy. That's very easy. A number is divisible by 5 if its last digit, if its last digit is either a 0 or a 5. If it, ends in a, if it ends in a 5 or a 0, then of course it's going to be divisible by 5. Again, only the last digit matters because the 10 digit is, tells you how many 10s are on. Of course, all the 10s are going to be multiple uh, divisible by 5, and all the 100s are going to be divisible by 5, and also all the 1000s. The only, only, only digit that plays role is the very last digit. As long as it ends in a 5 or a 0, the number is divisible by 5. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.